Genesis 2. Oh, shit. Uh, we'll go right into your questions for Coach. If you have a question, we've got a microphone, please raise your hand. Don. Grant seemed that uh, the first wave of playing without cars and you guys were okay, and then when he picked up his fourth, that's when they sort of separated themselves. What was the difference between was it Maryland playing better attack? I think it was a little bit of both. I mean, I thought, uh, you know, they, they played well in that stretch. Give him credit for that. You know, when they got the bonus, when we found they made, they made pretty much every one. Give him credit for that. Uh, you know, we're a different team. With him. You know, the more he's out there, the better we are. And it kind of changes everything. But, you know, others have to step up. I thought, you know, for us, Cordell Pencil had a really good game. It was great to see him have an opportunity and to do some really good things. Fran, yeah. what did you see, or what did you tell the team that Luke was in contra? Well, it's been very rare that he's had issues this year. Yeah, he's pretty good, typically, at staying vertical and staying out of foul trouble, recognizing how important he is to our team and staying on the floor. Uh, you know, he, he's an aggressive guy, so it's obviously sometimes it won't happen. You know, Creator's been terrific all season long. I thought he'll be okay, and like Don said, we, we kind of survived at first onslaught with him out for such a long period of time. Made it, a lot of times I keep guys out with two. Felt like we had to put him back and he got going a little bit, got a couple buckets in at the end of the half. But that was important for him and for us. So, uh, you know, this it's one of those things others have to step up. You know, we had to go small a little bit. Put Bakari in there, I thought he was solid. And, you know, and then rotate Connor and CJ and Joe, both Joe's. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. Last time you guys played Maryland, you were able to pick up a dominant victory against them at home. What seemed, you know, to be the biggest improvement on Maryland's, you know, and that allowed them to, you know, get one this time around? They were uh, really aggressive off the bounce, which they're, you know, typically going to be, uh, whether we were man or zone. They're, they're, they're a difficult team to guard, and I thought they made good decisions. They penetrated and, and got people involved. Obviously, you know, when you play them, you want to mark Cowan and, and Smith. They had 49, so uh, we didn't do a good enough job with those guys. So, credit them. What kind of what kind of problems does it cause for you when Anthony Cowan's having a game like he did tonight? Well, he's you know he's he's virtually impossible to keep in front of you. You, you, you got to be in the gaps. You, you got to sort of collectively defend him. You have a shot if he's missing jumpers. If he's making jumpers, it, it's really difficult. But the thing about him, you know, he, he finds people too. So he'll <coughs> reach into the band, he'll skip into the corner. You know, he's he's creative that way. You know, he plays like a veteran guy who's been through it. Yeah, knows how to win. Hey, Fran, me again. Uh, guards were the starting guards were 12 for 39 um, shooting. What do you chalk that up to? Good looks or just an off night or? You know, I thought they were up into us. You know, I thought we had some really good looks. I, I, I don't remember, you know, anything sticking out. I mean, it, it, we, we took bad shots. You know, we forced it. We put our heads down and shot contested jump. We moved it, moved it, moved it. We had some clean looks at it. They made us work for them. You know, I was expecting to shoot a little better than the guys who were shooting. But, uh, you know, they played with great energy. Take one or two more. Done. And the, the, the two games this year so between you guys sort of sum up what the Big Ten has been like in terms of you got a dominant victory at home, they got a dominant victory. Not just to say how hard it is to win on the road and how important it is to win at home. Well, you know, typically you're going to shoot it better at home. That's clearly the case. They shot it better here. You know, they didn't shoot it well there, vice versa. Uh, you know, the intensity level of the defense you're going to face is a little different than the home crowd. But you know, other than that, you know, it's kind of what you expect on the road. You play a good team. You, know, you have to play better than we played. 
Fran, from top to bottom this year uh, in the Big Ten, is this the strongest you've seen it since you've been a coach at no Iowa? Question. And I, and I said that before the season, uh, you know, and everybody thinks, well, our coaches are just saying that kind of stuff, you know, to pump up the conference start of the season. But I, I truly meant it. Every team has really good players. Every team has a great home atmosphere. And you have to really play well on the road, take care of the ball, shoot a good percentage, rebound the ball, you know, pay attention to the other team's best players. And it's really hard to do. And it's being proven that it's hard to do. And I think as a result, our comps will get multiple teams into the tournament, and deservedly so. Okay, thanks, coach. Yep.